welcome to this talk about an updated NEOS brand. Actually, let's take a step back and think about where the NEOS branding all began. It began 2016, four years ago in Kolbermoor. Um, there we unveiled the new NEOS brand. Um, we unveiled the logo, um, the colors and the fonts. And since then we've seen that it has been used nearly everywhere. It's been used on stickers, on bags, on shirts, on hoodies, on laptop covers, for instance, uh, on signs, socks, uh, bottles, and lots and lots of other places. So that means we've seen a really, really great adoption of the NEOS branding so far. And uh, that's obviously very important to us as that is like the visual representation of our identity. However, um, it felt to us that actually that's not everything. We, we actually are missing some some part of the branding because we so far have mostly concentrated on the visual aspects of this branding. So I, we think it is time for the next step now. What does this mean to us? Um, let's take a step back and um, talk about uh, disruption. Let's talk about um, uh, what is happening to many, many industries. Um, in fact, um, many industries have to uh, have to deal with digital transformation in one way or the other because new players are entering their markets and usually they are doing that via a very um, um, unconventional approach um, by integrating software in some part or most parts of their of their core business. Um, actually, Mark Andreessen a few years ago has said that every company in these disrupted industries needs to become some kind of software company. So, what actually does that mean? Let's pause for a minute and think through that. Of course, you still need lots of exp expertise in your uh, particular sector. So that means if you do uh, retail, you of course need to know all the things about retail. But additionally to that, um, following Mark Andreessen, you also need to understand how software affects you how software de development works and how this all affects your core business. It's not just websites or let's take all my, my, my processes so far and make them digital, but it's about a deeper and more profound change, um, rethinking all kinds of assumptions of your particular industry. So that is a huge disruption. What are we actually doing about that? Well, there are actually two options. Either you you can react to this kind of change, you, you have to deal with it somehow in one way or the other, or you can embrace it and you can be proactive about this. And um, that are the two ways we can do about it. And actually we we like this, this um, proactive idea very much. So let's talk about change. Um, changing things is associated with many factors. Um, on the one side, it's associated with progress with learning, with growth, with inspection and iterative adaption, with new possibilities, new markets, new technologies. So very positive things. On the other side, of course, uh, change is also involving uncertainty, um, uh, vulnerability to a certain extent. You need to embrace the unknown. You have some kind of fear if you will actually su succeed. And this affects every one of us individually. This kind of uh, the positive sides, the, this new ideas and the fear and the negative sides of change is affecting every individual in these kind of sectors individually, which is a good thing because that creates emotions. And in fact, we as NEOS, we would like to connect emotionally with our audience. We want to build a bridge, an emotional bridge to our people with a positive message. And the idea is that this vulnerability which um, um, which is the result of this um, this uh, um, disruption and this change process is actually opening up the path to emotion. So what can we actually do with all this blurb we have seen so far? Um, we as a NEOS team have introspected ourselves very hard and intensely in the last months. We have checked the traits we are collectively having and we thought about the one thing which connects us all personally. And 
that thing is curiosity. We are all eager to learn new things, to experiment, to discuss together, to um, push the boundaries further. In short, we are all very curious people. We are a curious community. So that is what we think is the core of the NEOS brand. And how do we bring these two worlds together? We've been talking about disruption um, and digital transformation beforehand. And now we are bringing in the core idea of NEOS, which is curiosity. The idea is that we can actually communicate by this curiosity, with this curiosity, we can embrace it. That means all our actions, our, our, all our wording, our images, the way we talk should reflect and, and, and feel this kind of curiosity. So if we zoom out a bit and um, think about um, the digital transformation and, and the disruptions happening in many industries, what can actually be the role of our NEOS community in this situation? I mean, in fact, we are, you know, we are not programming um, um, manufacturing systems. We are creating a content management system. However, we have two very important benefits. On the one side, by chance, we are actually in, a, in the industry which, where all this happens. We are in the software industry. That's the one part. And the second part is we as a community and we as individuals, we are very curious for new technologies, for new methods, new, new ideas in general. So that means this kind of thinking we have inside NEOS, um, inside um, our, our minds ingrained, inside our community ingrained, that is extremely relevant to all the people, all the companies and all the participants who are affected by this uh, digital transformation and disruption right now. So the idea is that we as a NEOS team and we as a NEOS community we can do whatever it takes to help organizations embrace this digital transformation. Let's help them understand software deeply. And how can we do that? We can do that by communicating uh, based on curiosity. So what does curiosity mean for us? Well, we are a community of uh, curious people that's first and foremost that means we like to learn new things we like to uh, get in touch with others learn from their experiences we are embracing curiosity in our personal thinking very much we are all in this kind of discovery mode and that is very uh, fulfilling for 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 everyone of us and actually we also try out new things and by doing that we actually take some risks so what do we mean with that? It's not just about curiosity. It's not just about random experiments. But instead, it's first about the curiosity, the scientific idea of experimenting and learning step by step, but then also having the courage when something works out to take this to production. So we walk through uncharted territory we try unconventional approaches we try things where others maybe say are saying well that can't work for some reason um but it's not just this trying out new things idea but it's also getting the results to production that means we take whatever it takes uh to stabilize these experiments into robust foundations for the production later on and we also deeply think about the migration from the old to the new world. So that means it's not just letting people down and saying, well, we have this new shiny thing, but also thinking about how can we get from this from the current state to the poten potentially new state. That is very important to us. Right. So let's talk about how curiosity and courage um, influences our different um, communication channels. So uh, let's talk about the tone of voice, which is the general idea how we are communicating to the outside world and also to our community. First, let's talk about the mindset for com communication. We are getting into a positive and proactive mood. After all, we are all working in an open source project. Um, so we are doing that for free. We are doing that in our company times. We are doing that because we want to. So actually having fun should be at the center of our experience and also at the center of our communication. We also 
don't judge. So that means we are very respectful to other communities, other people, and also new community members who might not know some things, but also on the other hand, bring in new ideas and new, new, new thoughts. We very much value diversity. Um, so that means we value other people's and other projects' work um, and also their potentially diverging decisions. So let's dive into, into these decisions, learn from them and pick what, what helps for us. And we also like to exchange knowledge very much. That means uh, we are not just a closed ecosystem of NEOS developers, but we, we are visiting other meetups, other conferences, other communities. We, we interact with, with all of these people and they're very decent and we can learn very much many things from these people as well. And that also, of course, involves building up personal relations with these other pr um, projects and communities. So that's about the mindset. Let's talk about the wording. Um, we want to. We are enthusiastic and humble about all our work. We are all doing cool stuff, but actually, others are also doing cool stuff, and that's what we want to transport. We don't need to apologize for doing open source work. Um, and it's always a good idea to talk about the journey and not just the end result. So let's talk about what has learned, what didn't work. Um, what where the experience is trying out things because actually the journey is the part which is where where other people can learn most about if you like to you can be very personal it's actually totally awesome to see your personality your individual personality so that means you can communicate things like together with somebody we did the following in the team and we tried this and we had these ideas We don't want to say things like the NEOS project did blah, 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 but rather focus on the individual side. We want to explain things um, such that everybody understands it. Actually, many complex topics can be explained by simple words and doing these explanations actually helps us giving, getting deeper insight into our topics. So that means we are avoiding buzzwords and superlatives. We are not the best ever made something. We are just a very good content management system and we are improving stably. And we don't want to oversell. So that means we want to um, make people curious about NEOS and we want to give them the knowledge they need to make an informed decision. We don't need to convince them because actually they need to find out whether the system and, and so on fits for them or not and we want to be guidance uh, on this way and we want to help them on that way so that's about wording let's talk about images first try to use images from former neos events um, like meetups sprints or conferences that is usually a lot more personal than uh, doing some using some stock photos Try to avoid these standard stock images like random people uh, pointing at displays, shaking hands, uh, people with a tie um, um, looking businessy in some way. Of course, it's totally fine to use stock photos, um, but try to find some which are not used that often or which don't look that much like this standard stock photo which everybody has. So let's um, make that a little more expressive how images could actually work so one topic could be um, uh, relating to curiosity would actually be nature and, and and with together with discoverers or explorers so that means uh, images could look like this or this or this one or this one Another way would be to, to relate to the natural curiosity of one specific group, like children, for instance. So that means every, everybody knows how children look at the world with uh, different eyes than the adults do. And actually, it's a very curious view of the world, uh, which you see, which you can also express with images very easily. So stuff like, what happens if I take all this, this stuff and throw it around? Um, What happens if I play with the mud and, and th throw, throw things in the water? And after all, these are just examples. Please uh, start with your imagination. Start with your creativity. Think about what, y what uh, thinking about curiosity, what you, you can make with this. So that means um, 
try to play around with these ideas. Um, try to come up with uh, ways to express yourself personally with these ideas. So let's start with curiosity. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, so stay curious. Thank you so much.